get parrots and they're very young, um, sometimes those parrots outlive them wow. because these guys can live 70 and 80 years. Um, and so they, they often become birds that get passed down in the will. And sometimes, you know, your family doesn't want to take care of your bird um, because these guys, yes, are like toddlers and they're very loud and they're very destructive. Um, and they're a lot of fun and they're great to have around. Um, but it does take a lot of work to take care of an animal like this every day. So um, these guys often do end up being surrendered and needing, you know, forever homes. They often end up in rescues and things like that. So we were super happy to provide her with a home. She is a great animal ambassador. Um, she loves to come out and meet people. She is phenomenal in all sorts of different um, places. And she's one of the favorites among all of the people here at SeaWorld. Everybody loves Susie. Um, and uh, there's a couple, I mean, she's just super fun. She's very sweet. Uh, and so it makes her a great animal to interact with. It does. And her feathers, where it says it got her in them, or is it the wings? Yep, so it's her. So okay. she's got control of all the feathers up in here, um, and she can move them around. You don't want me to touch them right now? That's okay. Um, so it's, um, it is you know, a way that they can interact with each other. It's a form of communication when they use that crest like that. Um, it can also, in certain situations, um, you know, communicate to others that there is danger in the area. So these guys are known as alarm birds. And what they do is they see a predator and they start screaming. <laughs> and they let everybody else know. And then the whole group starts to make that same noise and that hopefully helps to scare that predator off. Let them know that they've been seen and that it doesn't help they're not going to be successful at all. I know, I'm reaching for the seeds. <laughs> She's smart. She's very smart. Very smart, for sure. Knows exactly where the seeds come from. And again, this is a, these are pretty amazing animals in how much they can move that beak. So I'm giving her sunflower seeds right now. She can tear off the shell of the seed and the skin on the inside of that little sunflower seed just with her beak and her tongue. Wow. Um, she will tear the skin off of a grape. Um, she'll leave the, the skins of grapes and the other day we gave her some corn kernels and she ate the inside of the corn kernel and not the outside like um, skin. Wow. Over here? Okay. Um, so they're pretty amazing animals. Um, I know, probably. Um, but if I have you in this hand, I can't get them. They're, they're down there. You have to be there. Oh, oh okay. I see. I see how it is. What? Oh my gosh. So a lot of people, again, think of these guys as mimics. Um, she knows one word and that's hi. That's the only one that she says. Um, she doesn't say too many other words. Um, but that's okay. We don't need her to say words. We need her to hang out here and, and be with us. Um, she also has these feet, which are called zygodactyl toes. So she's got two toes that face forward and two that face backward. And that helps her to climb around in her natural environment. So do you want to show them? Do you want to show them our trick? Come on, you got to be... We gotta be set up right. Where are you going? You don't wanna show the trick? That's okay. She can hang upside down. <laughs> she can hang upside down, but she doesn't wanna do it. What? Good. Um, so, oh, hello. If you guys want, what I can do is I can set you guys up for a photo. Okay. Um, and what I'll do is if you guys want to all group together and if you I'm gonna have her stand on your hand if you'd like for okay, the photo. Sure. Um, so, my ring so that way she yeah, yeah. so what I'll have you guys do is kind of all group up for a photo I can take it once I've passed awesome. her up um, and then what you're 